Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing great. If you're new here, my name is Ranjini. So in today's video, I thought I'd give some information or tips on basic makeup. So I thought I'd begin with foundation. It is so important to get this tip right because it is always like so obvious when someone is wearing the foundation that is too cakey or as in the right color for their skin tone. The point of foundation is not like you have layers of makeup on but to help your skin look at its best. So I think this is the good place to start and so I thought I'd begin with the foundation. Without further delay, let's get into the video. I hope this uh, video will be something useful for you guys. So the step number one will be to select the right formula foundation that suits your skin type. So there are like uh, six to seven types of foundation. The, but the most commonly used foundation are like four, four types. So the first one will be uh, liquid foundation that is most commonly used by all of us. And the second one will be powder foundation. And the third one will be stick foundation and the fourth one will be cream foundation so each foundation is different from one another first one will be liquid foundation this is the most popular type of foundation that is most commonly used by all that's because it's light in weight and uh, it's it glides easily on your skin and it's easy to apply there are liquid foundation that is both oil based and water based if you are skin is dry I would recommend like going for an oil based liquid foundation or if you have an oily skin or moderate skin I would say you can choose water based liquid foundation you have like uh, too many options that you can explore in the liquid foundation too so I think you can choose according to your skin need the next type will be powder based foundation uh, the, so the powder based foundation is one of the classic type of foundation it's actually not advisable to use on the dry skin because uh, it shows the patchiness and it looks more dry. So people who have oily skin can definitely go for powder based foundation. So those who don't prefer a heavy makeup and uh, looking something for a natural finish, I would suggest going for a powder uh, foundation. This is something uh, that can be used on the go and it gives you the natural finish. Uh, the next type of foundation is uh, creamy foundation. Creamy foundation is something that which is heavier and it lasts long. Uh, it, it is used on special occasions. Most of like it's used on weddings. And in that case, I think you can go for creamy foundation and it has an added benefit for dry skin because it has something uh, that moisturizes your skin. So for dry skin, I think creamy foundation is the best option. The next type of foundation is stick foundation. Stick foundation is something that is in a solid form. It's easy to apply. So do explore different kind of foundation so that you can know which foundation will suit you better. This is the perfect item for you if you are short on time. It's easy to apply and it's easily blendable. Other than these type of foundation, there is also a mineral foundation, spray foundation and uh, whip foundation. The foundation is something that is used on the mature skin. Most important point is all these above mentioned foundations are available both in the high end and drugstore. The next important thing in the foundation is get to know your undertone. So have you ever tried a lipstick that makes your skin tone or your face more alive and try out almost exactly the same shade but which makes you more washed out attire? That's because of the undertone of your skin skin surface tone and undertone is something different that you have to understand skin surface tone is something that is commonly classified like uh, ivory tan medium dark cool warm and neutral so you can ask how can i identify my undertone i'll explain you uh, the most commonly used technique to identify your undertone is to check your vein If your vein is more greenish in color, then you come under warm undertone. If it is blue or purplish color, then you come under cool undertone. So if you have both green and blue vein, then you come under neutral undertone. So I have both blue and green vein. 
hope you can see it will show in the sound so I have both blue purple vein and a green vein so I fall under neutral undertone so there is also another old school technique they used to follow the old jewelry trick typically girls who rock on uh, silver jewelry then you fall under cool undertone those who look great on gold jewelry you come under warm undertone those who rock on both silver and gold jewel then you fall under neutral undertone so this is how the undertones been classified the another thing that most of us do while purchasing uh, foundation is to test the foundation on back of your hand it doesn't work the color of your face and uh, the back of your hand is not the same because this the shade of your hand is definitely lighter than your face so this is not the right technique so the best technique to find the right shade of foundation is to test either in the chest or to swatch it uh, from the jawline to all the way down to your neck so when you bring all the way down to your neck the foundation that should disappear the color of your skin and the foundation color should get merged that is how it works uh, try to swatch either in your chest or uh, from the jawline all the way down to your neck if it disappears in, into your skin then that is a perfect match another uh, tip is always uh, try your foundation and uh, don't trust the store lighting go out and look in the natural light so that you can easily identify you have picked the right shade or not so don't trust the store light and if you're buying some high-end foundation I would say ask for a sample do ask for a sample take it home and try it out leave it for a whole day and you can see how does it look on your skin both the color and the quality of the foundation so ask for a sample never ever hesitate and another easiest way to identify your perfect shade is find someone to help you there will be people to assist you so please feel free to go and ask for the assistance they will help you find your right shade so by any chance if you bought a wrong shade of foundation don't worry you can always mix up the foundation if it is too light I would say go for a darker shade and mix two of the foundation or if it is too dark go for a lighter shade foundation and mix two of them and it works I always mix, my, mix the foundation like I mix the formulas yeah I would say that is something too much but to begin with I would say you can mix the color a formula in the sense I, I do, if I didn't want more matte or if I didn't want too dewy I would mix up two matte and dewy foundation to get that natural look so you can always mix the formulas and shades so feel free to sit up and use so I think this sums up pretty much about the foundation and if you did have any other questions please do let me know in the comment section and if you feel this video is something useful for you guys please like this video and share with your friends and if you haven't subscribed please take a moment to subscribe and I also have thought about doing some informational videos like this so if you want something in particular please do let me know in the comment section hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching bye